Coach Jim Leonard, interim head coach at Wisconsin and defensive coordinator, runs what you feel is a very unique scheme, one that makes it very hard for opponents to game plan against. Why is that? Well, he runs a 3-4. First of all, Jim Leonard's an excellent football coach, hard to prepare for. And in a 3-4 defense for the viewer is three down linemen and four linebackers, as opposed to the 4-3. A 4-3 is four down linemen, three backers. Right. That's the what, but the why. Number one, there's no double teams. Every offense lineman, they want to double team someone, a definitive player in their gap and double team. That doesn't happen, which we'll go through in a minute. The multiplicity of pressures. Four linebackers, three, that just gives you another multitude of blitzes or pressures to prepare for. Zero nose. Every offensive lineman, every center, whether they admit it or not, they don't sleep well that week they're facing a the guy because that guy's right. right up on you and he's uh, usually a big man. Unique, only once or twice a year. Right. And we, because it became such a problem for our offense, we would work that in the offseason quite often. All right, let's take a look at the first look here. It's just base defense. I want everybody to focus on the center and the nose guard. There aren't any double teams anywhere. What's that mean? You can see the right guard, right tackle going to the left end. You can see the other two going to the right end. What's that do? That leaves that, Seven. that's a 320 pound man on the center. Right. So the center's got to snap the ball and he's got to block this big man. Jerry, he's got the front side A gap. Right. He negates that by body and then watch him take his hands. He throws himself into the backside A gap. Right. That's a two gap. How do you prepare for that? That's really hard. Okay, let's go to the next part of the defense. You can see the three, the three down linemen, the nose guard and right. two defensive ends. Then you got the Sam on the left, you got the Mike over the left guard, right. you got the Will, and then the B on the end over here. That gives you a lot of different issues for the offensive line, who to target and the blitz patterns that come out of it. Now you're into a slant angle. And the word slant, you all say slant two, slant two, slant two, the tight end. Angle A away, right. away from the tight end. So as you're breaking this down, this would be a slant two, or you're gonna see the defensive line move to our left here. The offensive line, there is no help. These are all single blocks. Completely disrupts the offensive line. Basically two guys unblocked in the hole, and they fall back and make a tackle. How many times does Maryland offensive line see this during the season? Oh, by the way, we're facing a 3-4, right. and you have a Tuesday, Wednesday, and your team's usually beat up. Okay, so we've seen them play base, then we've seen them slant and angle. What's next? Now, now this is where you just take the marker and throw it against the wall. <laughs> the pressures, and that means the multiplicity of pressures. It can be any combination of two, sometimes three if it's a zero pressure. But a normal pressure would be, and you saw it on videotape, Sam Mike. So Sam Mike is one pressure. You got Mike B is another pressure. You got BW is another pressure. Backer and Will, and I'm just giving examples. By the way, that goes on almost infinite. You right. can bring the Sam and the Will, the M and the B. Right. That drives this guy nuts and this guy nuts, as you call the defense. On the scouting report, this would be a Sam and Mike pressure. The Sam's gonna come and the Mike's gonna come. See him coming downhill? And in a bottom line, what is that? That's just a lot of confusion by the offensive line. So that's Sam and Mike. Yep. They're not reading anything. They're coming on the snap. They're, you can tell they're coming because look at the defensive line. Look at the nose guard working to our right. Look at the defensive end on our left working to our right. And then you got the Mike and the Sam coming. There has to be a negative to it. What is it? The negatives are, number one, is there's very little pass rush. When you're lined up that heavy on a player, a zero technique, the great pass rushers are what? They're wide alignments. Right. And then on third down, what do you see defenses do? They widen out so they get a good angle speed rush. When you're tightened down like that, there's no pass rush. And the biggest reason in college that I dealt with are recruiting issues. Players don't want to play in a 3-4 necessarily. They know that to get to the next level, you want to widen out and go attack the quarterback. 